told you once, yeah, I told you twice. We gon' light it up like it's dynamite. My name is Doug Emblidge, and I thank you. I was so pleased earlier tonight to meet uh, Priyanka Chopra, and I was thinking about it. I, I thought long and hard about it as I, as I met this, this beautiful, talented, and very important woman. She is a, an international movie star. She is an international recording star. She is a Miss World. She is a humanitarian, and I couldn't help but think how, how thrilled she must be to finally be meeting me tonight. And um, Good evening, and welcome to the Transplant Gala. <laughs> Just another little party here in Rochester. So tonight, we're here to celebrate URMC Liver Transplant Program's 20th anniversary to honor our founding father, Dr. Seymour Schwartz, and most importantly, to learn about the miracle of organ donation. I'd also like to thank Priyanka Chopra and her parents, Dr. Ashok and Madhu Chopra, for supporting URMC Transplant and this noble cause of organ donation. One donor can save up to nine people's lives. Through tissue donation, one person can dramatically improve the lives of up to 50 people. If you're not an organ donor when you die, then you're taking a lot of people with you. So I encourage you, all of you to think about organ donation, to learn more about it, talk with your families and friends about it, and even consider becoming a donor if you wish. Thank you, everyone, for t coming tonight and continue to enjoy this amazing evening. Dr. Schwartz needs really no introduction probably is the, arguably the most famous surgeon in America. His textbook is the most read textbook, but he is the consummate intellect. I think perhaps the one thing that he has never been honored for is the recognition for bringing liver transplantation to a small, relatively small city like Rochester. And this was a Herculean effort to bring it here. We have here a statue of Ganesha. Now, Ganesha is a Hindu deity recognized by all of the Hindu sects and is the remover of obstacles and the goddess of the god of new beginnings. And befittingly, he, is, he carries the head of an elephant that was transplanted onto the body of a human child. And so he's arguably the first mythical xenotransplant or transplantation between two different species. But more importantly, he is the god of knowledge and wisdom and education. And this is a totally appropriate award for a man of such distinction. I welcome Seymour Schwartz to the podium. I'd also like to express my appreciation to the Indian community, and most particular, the Chopras, for all that they have added to this event. Uh, I thank you very much. So I think in, in view of the Indian motif of the evening, I came upon somebody who wrote a textbook of surgery shortly before I did. Actually, he wrote it in Sanskrit, six to ninth century before the common era. He was the revered Indian surgeon Shushruta Samita. And I'll read from him in deference to this occasion. Shushruta said, all hold surgery to be the most important of all branches of the science of medicine, inasmuch as instantaneous action can be produced. 
It is eternal and a source of infinite piety. It imparts fame. It opens the, great, the gates of heaven to its votaries. It prolongs the duration of human existence on earth, helps men in successfully fulfilling their missions, and earning a decent competence in life. Words from the ninth century before our era. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Helene Eman and I am a donor mom. It is an honor to share with you my son's story tonight. Because of Scott's final gift, two people are no longer dependent on dialysis. His heart beats for another. His liver has restored someone's health. And we tell his son he died a hero. On March. On March 17th, Scott was taken to the OR to harvest his organs. As we walked behind him, I remembered the night we brought him into the hospital. I prayed that God would let him live, and he did. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doug. Well, welcome, everyone. It's terrific to have such a large turnout of the Indian community. And as you just heard, you are among our finest physicians nurses, providers, members of the business community, the very fabric of Rochester, and among the many people who've come here from all over the world that make Rochester such a great place to live. So thank you for joining us tonight. In particular, I want to welcome the physicians and, and other healthcare providers who've come from all the systems, from Unity, from Rochester General Health System, and those of you in private practice, it's great that we can unite around a common cause like liver transplantation, which, as you just heard from Helene, begins with a tragic story and ends with expiring gifts of life to so many people. So now turning to the uh, person of the moment, uh, Priyanka Chopra learned about the liver transplant program through her father's treatment. And she herself recently pledged to be an organ donor Thank you very much, Priyanka. So for any of you who have not signed a declaration to be organ donors, I encourage you to do so. No matter what your age, there are tissues that can be used that will make a difference and give the gift of life, give the lift of sight, give the lift of hope to other people. So now it's my pleasure to introduce Priyanka, who's donated her valuable time to come here to Rochester to support the cause of organ donation. And for those of you who don't know her, she's a former Miss World, a Bollywood star. She has a film called Barfi that was nominated for an Academy Award. Congratulations. And Following in her father's footsteps as a great musician, she has a hit single called In My City. That's the theme song for the NFL Network's Thursday night football game. How do you like that? But truly, she wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her belief in the importance of organ donation and organ transplant. A very forward thinking approach to the world and courage and compassion that she's understood from watching her father with her, his own illnesses. So it's my great pleasure and all of our pleasures to welcome Priyanka Chopra. Thank you to every single one of you who um, wanted me here. Thank you to URMC for inviting me here. Um, and I would like to first and foremost congratulate URMC's liver liver transplant program on a very, very happy 20th anniversary. But um, thank you. Thank you to every single one of you who um, wanted me here. Thank you to URMC for inviting me here. Um, and I would like to first and foremost congratulate URMC's liver, liver transplant program on a very, very happy 20th anniversary.
the value of donating your organs till a loved one needs it. And when that loved one needs it, you wish and hope that there were more people who donated their organs. And that's what made me want to do it. You know, I, I love life. I love everything about it. I feel like God has been very kind to me. My family has been extremely kind to me. And there's so much in life that I want to do and I want to see. And there are so many people out there who, um, who can be eligible for organ donation and don't think about it because they may not have mentioned it or discussed it. Just like, just like Dr. Burke said or Dr. Olof said right now in their speeches that you don't think about it until you need to be there and by then it's too late and your families take the decision for you. And yes, it is extremely hard at that time of crisis to say that you want to part with your loved one's organs. But when you do, your loved one lives on in so many people. One person can be responsible for almost eight lives, I was told. And that is a lot of lives. No amount of charity you've done all your life will amount to donating your organs.